Well, yeah, I'm kind of going nuts with the uh, the drawers, but I tell you, uh, I have cut a bunch of wood up into handle size, and I'm I'm going to start getting serious about finding really nice wood for handles. And uh, when they're when it's there, you gotta buy it because I'm telling you, there's so many knife makers out there that uh, wood, good wood, disappears really quickly. So uh, you gotta get it when it's there. Anyway, that's why uh, that's why I've got so many drawers because my my plan is to start putting uh, good wood that I find at a good price. I mean, you can there's a lot of wood out there, but some of it's 50, 60 bucks for a handle, and uh, I can't afford you know I can afford 20 or 30, and I'm I'm finding that the hybrid uh, handles you know that it's it's a uh, Synthetic and wood, uh, those are, you know, 35, 40 bucks. So you can get a really nice handle, uh, a hybrid for that kind of money. So anyway, that's that's what my game plan is to start. You know, when I'm not in here, I'm at home on my computer scouring the interwebs for, uh, you know, handle wood and knife making stuff and information I don't have. All right, it is Wednesday morning, or, yeah, is it morning? Barely. And, uh, uh, what am I going to do now? Okay, sheets. I'm going into my knife shop, my leather shop, and I'm making sheets. Okay, you ready to move on to the other shop? I got three knives over there that I got to handle up, but uh, probably not today. <laughs> well... I just used my router for the first time on a knife that's not spoken for and I'm gonna tell you this is gonna bring my handles to a whole nother nut level now I have a lot of hand work to do on this but this made perfectly uniform perfectly uniform curves I used a uh, I think it's called a round over bit and uh, oh my god what a difference this is going to make in my knife making. Alright, I got a lot of hand work to do. But not near as much hand work as I would have had to have done without the router. So, I've got two more knives, Ann's and Sandy's, that I'm going to run across the router. Uh, and then I'm going to probably start sanding. Let's see. I got three sheaths done, not done, but to the point where I got to let the uh, glue dry overnight. So tomorrow I will sew them sheaths up and do the fade. And uh, maybe I'll be able to ship them tomorrow. That is uh, both the Chris's and my brother's. And then, uh, like I say, this one is not sold yet. 85 with sheath shipped. All right, let me get back to work. Yep, I like it. I like it. There's one. Need some hand sanding. There's Sandy's. Needs a lot of hand sanding, you know. There's Ann's. And I think this is gonna look cool with a feathered desert ironwood veneer. All buffed up, I think it's gonna look cool. All right, that is it for today. Tomorrow, I finish those three sheaths. Uh, let's see, today is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. Friday, I will mail those three knives, uh, two to Chris and one to my brother. And uh, tomorrow, Thursday, I'll get the sanding on these handles here after I finish those sheets. Back tomorrow.